Hey guys, I hope you had a really great day trading today. So this morning we did open with a small gap up and then that first five minute candle we pushed up above the five minute 200 moving average. And you can see right here that the last five trading days, we were underneath the five minute 200 moving average. So the last day of 2023 and all of the first week. So that first move today got us above the five minute 200 moving average. And then from there we took off. You could see right here, the 35 EMA crossed the five minute 200 moving average. And that was support we stayed above that level all day and we got above the implied move which was at 471 and we filled the gap at the top of the trading range and then we got above the 30 minute 200 moving average and into that first gap this was the first the opening move of this year we got into that gap right there and filled it about I'd say two thirds of the way. So really, really huge move today. We did see stairs down was basically the first week and then elevator back up this week. So huge shift in sentiment. And we did flip the five minute time frame back to bullish. The 30 minute is still bearish, but the five minute did flip in a big way. We did close up 1.43%. VIX closed down 2% and we did not stay within the implied move. And I personally took a red day today. For my strategy, this was way too big of a move and it just did not go my way today. So you can't win them all, but let's go check out tomorrow's levels. So tomorrow's implied move is between 472 and 477 and that is from options and the 30 day average volatility between 470 and 478 and to the upside the very first level to look for is going to be the rest of this gap that we filled partially today it was the opening gap of the year and right at the top of it is where we closed 2023 so around 475.30 is the top of the gap and then if that doesn't immediately become resistance then and we get above that then the next level is the top of the implied move which is 477 and that is right there with the highs of 2023 at 477.55 just outside of that implied move. And then above that, we do have all time highs, 479.98. And then to the downside, we do have the 30 minute 200 moving average. It is still flat right now. And right below it, we have the 35 EMA. And I'm watching this level right here because I personally wanted to see a little bit more downside but if this 35 ema comes up and crosses above the 30 minute 200 moving average then i might have to readjust some things and start looking for maybe a move higher but if this level turns away then i will hold my positions and see if we can get that move lower so underneath so we do have the 30 minute 200 moving average right here for me, super important level. Bottom of the implied move is at 472. And then underneath that, we do have this gap that we opened today to start the week with the one hour 200 moving average, which was a support towards the end of the week. Not necessarily support, but we didn't go under it and we did curl up to start the week. So one hour 200 moving average is down here at the bottom. So. This is tomorrow's trading range. Have fun tomorrow, trade safe, make sure you take profits when you're up, and I'll see you guys tomorrow night.